Anybody ever tell you you look like Sean White? Yeah. That's weird, huh? I think it started in high school. Right. Anybody? Really? Yeah. Nobody calls you the flying tomato, though, right? No, nah, they just say he Sean made that White up. Usually. Yeah, I invented that. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's I don't sick. think Sean really liked it. <clears throat> really? No, that's why I did it. <laughs> Here, Alex. Yeah. He's too good. When you're real little and you're real good and you don't have like... You got to you get taken down a little bit? Yeah, you don't have any marital <laughs> problems, you know what I mean? Like I like that name. I think it's good. Flying Tomato? Yeah. Yeah. It worked at the time, you know, because he was little and his head was bigger than his body and his head was covered <laughs> in red hair. It's like a few of my so friends. it was like a flying tomato. <laughs> I guess tomatoes don't really get hairy. <sighs> wow. Are you looking for a delicious and nutritious snack that packs a real protein punch? Crack into a good source of protein with tasty, healthy, wonderful pistachios. Wonderful pistachios come in a variety of flavors and sizes. Perfect for enjoying with your family and friends or taking them with you on the go during your summer adventures. Check out wonderfulpistachios.com to learn more about how these little green wonders can power up your day. You skate, huh? A little bit, not not too often anymore. That's the correct answer when you're in a room full of legendary skateboarders. I know. Yeah, I've seen you skate. Yeah, it's pretty. It's nice. You I'm got glad it. You're, I'm right. glad you're enjoying yourself. I, I would like to skate. I get scared of getting hurt, so then I'm like, you fuck. get scared of getting hurt. Well, I'm not like I, I broke my leg when I skated when I was like 15, like pretty bad. I was in a wheelchair for like six months. What about so stunts? I think you about never. That. When you do all your stunts, you never got checked on one of those. Like what? Like what do you mean? Like hospitalized. Just getting served up from yeah. stunts. No, not really. Um, he hit me on a fucking dirt bike. I was on the 250, he's on a 110, and he went right into my foot. And I'm, I usually wear slides, you know? On so, a dirt bike? So I had to get like maybe 11 stitches, but that's about it. I mean, You wear slides on a dirt bike? Um, that's not even wood, is it? Shit. Um, you have skateboards we, behind you. You yeah, can do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it in a little bit. Um, you don't so, wear motocross gear? I don't really do anything. I, I, honestly, I'm not that. I don't. I don't really do anything. Like I'm not doing backflips or anything. But you're riding around like fast. Yeah. Some, sometimes. I mean, not really. Just like. Look, kids. I know he's cool and all, and popular in that, but popular. But it, you got to wear safety gear on dirt bikes. Yeah. Because hospital bills, not to mention. Like brain injuries. Sorry. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I can't. I, I grew I, up. I, I need, right. Do you like, get grief for? But like, I mean, I feel like what he does and what I do is like you're probably doing way. I saw your videos. Shit. But, but you're doing you, wheelies and stuff, right? Wheel. Yeah. I, I. I try not. I don't want to hit my head. That's true. That's, I'm just saying. But, like, but do you get grief thing. for doing those videos? If, if people, my, my dad bitches like, a lot. Safety patrol. <laughs> your dad. Yeah, the my one dad always that bitches. You take. He always bitches about the helmet. He's like, wear the helmet. So it's I, not the I, worst I should. suggestion. If I yeah, do something well, right, like right. I feel like I'm not like, I guess, I, I don't know, like it's like kind of pushing it for me. It feels like I'll definitely throw a helmet. What has been the scariest thing you've done with all the content you made? I mean, sometimes we do stunts. I'm like, I hope this shit works. You know, I don't want to like, I don't want to get fucked up. Like for sure. Yeah. I, I try to just do stuff like, like I said, like, I, you know, I watched Jackass growing up. I just try to do like a, a definitely like a, a way pussier version of them. Like I just don't want to get hurt. So I try to do like the coolest stuff I can do, like for for my sake, like things that I really enjoy and things that I like and things that I think are cool. But and I just try my best to not get hurt. That's kind of where I'm at. And, and, yeah, and, it's uh, pretty smart. I feel like Tony and I. That's where we we didn't learn until in our fifties. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, I always saw like, like, like a good track. You know, like Stevo and Johnny Knoxville. You know, definitely Johnny Knoxville. Like talk about like their injuries and stuff and like i think the dirt bike came down like you know hit his oh yeah on the no, dick. He like, had to like wear they, a catheter they, yeah they went through like these serious injuries so i was just like and i always like business growing up you know like so i, I really like the business side so i was trying to just like you know i like like a mix of like you know some bam and rob deerdeck and you know the jackass guys i kind of try to mix it all in together a little bit mm -hmm. but in a safe way <laughs> Yeah, well, that's where I feel like I never thought of that. in a way that allows him to do it again tomorrow. Yeah, Deer Dad yeah. kind of did that though, where he's like pretty. I feel like I don't know personally, but I just feel like he's like kind of healthier, and then like made a lot of money. So it's like I'm trying to you know just do a, yeah. do a mix. But of I mean, all at that. one point, at one point, that those are big aspirations to have. You you told me you were homeless for a while. Yeah, like just like well, 
in Florida, I obviously had my family, but when I came out here, I, there was like really no one. So when I, when I came out here, that's where I was like, you know, slept wherever. I was you like, just tended to find places to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the rumor. <laughs> No, that was real, yeah. That. But but then you you also you, decided to start creating content. I was I had already been creating content, so okay. I, I think I had like twenty case. Uh, it it kind of helped because I remember one time I remember one time I was at, I, I I I stayed at this girl at USC's house, or like her apartment. You know, I remember getting out. This was a little bit later. Chris Chan had bought me a car, so like I was sleeping out of the car, you know. But then I would also sleep at Tinder Girls' houses. But I remember we got out of the car Tender and girls. I opened the trunk and she's like, "Why are all your clothes in the trunk?" And there was like a hamper, you know. So I, I would try to keep it organized. And I was like, "Oh, the, I just like made up some shit like how the washer was broke," you know what I mean? <laughs> but I, I had I had like twenty k followers. I think companies were sending me free. Like Diamond had sent me a bunch of free shit. So it's like. I had like a little bit of a following, and back then, you know, twenty k meant more than it does now. Now anyone can get twenty k, but and I would have like you know brand new clothes, so people, no one really thought I was homeless at the time. And I never spoke about it until I kind of had made it a bit because I didn't. Mm-hmm. I felt like in the moment, if I was to say I was homeless, it it, it would kind of like bring me down a bit. Definitely lower your chances yeah, on yeah. ten though. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> on your bio. It depends, you know. Some don't care, but yeah. So I I kind of waited till I already had like a following to then talk about it. Right, but I, but you had those aspirations then. Yeah, right of, when I yeah right when doing I started, yeah. bigger things or or some sort of conglomerate. I mean, my whole life, yeah, I was just like, how the fuck do I get rich? Just trying to figure it out. But was the spark was Jackass? No, no. So I had done. I had just watched that my whole life. I just okay. loved that. I, I I played sports growing up. I love sports. And then there was kind of a point where I was like, I'm not fucking gonna go pro or anything i'm not that athletic you know like um so i was like fuck it. I, go I, pro at what just whatever What'd you get close I, to uh i mean shit nothing really honestly i play i, play, <laughs> I, play, I, I just want sports i realized yeah, it wasn't that athletic yeah i played baseball and, i played uh, but you didn't, I, it sounds like you didn't go for very long in any of them uh i played baseball like my whole life and then i i wrestled then i did track cross Are you country too little for baseball uh i could probably get you know second base maybe those guys are not, they don't have to be tall. I don't know. I don't play, I don't um, follow it, but I thought they were all big. Yeah, it depends. Like, uh, I mean, a kicker in football is not that big. Usually right. you got like second basemen can be smaller usually. Um, so what made you realize that you weren't going to make it? Like, was there a day where you were like, God damn it. Like, there's well, no way I can beat that. Well, so yeah, I did baseball. Then I went, eventually I switched to track and cross country. And then okay. eventually I switched to triathlon. So then I was trying to do that. And I was like, yeah, definitely. I'm not going to go pro in this. Um, That's a lot of physical stuff, though. It'll keep you in shape. Yeah, so then I was like, um, I'd rather just, if I'm not going to go pro, I'd rather just work in athletics. So then I, tr- I started, I became like a personal trainer, and then I started doing yeah. this thing called um, active isolated stretching. And then I would just work with a bunch of athletes. And then I just always had this idea to work with skateboarders. So then... Why? Um, well, I skated as a kid, and I, yeah. I just, be, because I played sports, I knew like... Um, just in the in the skateboard world, like no one was helping them, you know, back then at all. They did, yeah. no one trained or stretched or did anything. No foam rolling. Got no, it. There was zero, yeah. zero of that. And no, this, we weren't. This into was twenty. That. This is twenty, twenty twelve or no, twenty thirteen maybe. Yeah, just in time. And uh, so no one did anything like that. So I eventually reached out to like uh, Tampa Skate Park Tampa, and mm-hmm. then I would like set up at their events and do the stretching shit, like before kids would skate or if they got hurt or yeah. after their runs. So were you charging course. them for that? Or just I would I would just door. do like I just had like a, like a little tip thing and if they wanted to they could if they didn't they didn't and then if they wanted to like shout me out too like anything that's a hustle that's yeah. amazing you were so, at Tampa Am stretching yeah, who sick. probably have an aversion to that kind of Tampa thing, Pro too I even got to do and then I got to go to like some of the other ones like the the the, the damn Ams or something and mm-hmm. just but I just mean shit. like especially the Ams they just don't I don't think they correlate. Training and stretching no. with their skating, and if so, you're outside, you're I, like, I would like stretch like one half, like I would stretch their like, like let's say their left calf mm-hmm. and left like hamstring and quad and like and everything, you know. And then I would have them like walk, like stand up and like walk around, and they'd be like, oh shit, so just so they could feel like just right. a little bit of like you know how to like, loosen it up. And then I would do the other side just so they could kind of like actually understand it a bit. And then, um, yeah, I just did that for a while, and then yeah, I came out here, was working with skaters, and then uh, then you know, switched over to YouTube. I, I was already making videos like three tips to help strengthen your lower back or you know what I mean? Jason, got a new podcast partner. Yes. Who? The farmer's dog. I'm super hyped about it because my dog Lola loves it. Before driving up here, that's the last thing I did was give her that food. And she was so hyped. She didn't notice that we left. Well, I've become a chef at my house. I have five dogs and I prepare meals for these celebrities every day. That's good because the company was founded by two dog lovers who decided to reimagine pet food from the ground up. 
The results of switching your dog's food from kibble to fresh can seem like magic. When a senior dog starts acting like a puppy again and the pickiest of eaters can't wait for dinner time, you might think some spells were cast, but the farmer's dog doesn't use any sorcery or secret ingredients to make their fresh food, just science. The farmer's dog makes and delivers fresh, healthy dog food. It's developed by vets, nutritionally balanced and made from real healthy ingredients to human food safety standards. Traditional dry and wet food dog options are highly processed. They can use much lower quality ingredients than they claim, and they're extremely difficult to portion accurately. The farmer's dog doesn't just send fresh, higher quality food. They also send the food pre-portioned, specifically for your dog, based on their unique nutritional needs. A fresh diet has been found to have all sorts of benefits, including healthier coat and skin, better breath, easier digestion, and small, better poops. A healthier diet isn't just important to humans. Get 50% off your first box of fresh, healthy food at thefarmersdog.com slash hawkwolf. That's thefarmersdog.com slash hawkwolf. When you decided to start being creative and funny, what was the first video? Fuck, I was just like making a... Oh, I think it was the fir- one of the first things was just a game of skate against Seva Krutko. Yeah. At a uh, stoner, we were just like fucking around playing skate. I always uh, was always like that, but then when I was doing like the training and shit, I just obviously had to like just be m- a little more professional, which yeah. kind of sucked. And I, I, I like that I could be myself on YouTube. Yeah. When I switched to just do that, so I was like, oh, this is nice. So once you did the switch, was it a positive thing immediately, or did it take time? No, yeah, it took it took a while. It was positive, but like it just. Oh, actually, I remember my hometown. People were like, "Yeah, he's," and I'm I'm completely sober. But people were like, "Yeah, he's on drugs now." They were like, "What the fuck?" They were like, "What is he doing?" You've always been sober. <laughs> yeah. What, so what made you do that? Um, I, well, I, I felt like I should just like focus on my life and yeah. stuff. Um, my mom was alcoholic, so that's uh, kind of why I didn't drink. And then. Um, so you've never got into it? I, in high school, I drank uh, when I was like 15. And so then, just for a little bit and you were like, that's good, I'm yeah, done. Yeah, like one summer a few times. Good for you, man. Yeah. And then here we are. Yeah. It worked. It worked. That's some discipline. So is it just every day you think of new things and write them down and work with these guys to come up? Is it like a constant all day thing with you? Like Yeah, we, we, yeah, we just think a lot. And then like me and him are always like shooting ideas back and forth. Right. And then... Uh, because you can't turn it off once you turn it on, huh? Yeah, it's just nonstop. Yeah. What has been the biggest surprise success in, in you guys throw an idea out and you're like, meh, I don't know, and then you do it, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, that is one of the greatest things we've done. Fuck, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I'm always, huh? Papa Jim. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was just filming with Papa Jim. This, So he's like my, uh, my childhood friend's um, like grandpa, basically. And then we just like filmed with him one night, and it was just hilarious. And then he was just became like really brought a lot of life back into me too, and the channel. Like Wait, did, he was just storytelling, he was or he so was so funny. I don't even know how to dude. explain it. Like just an older guy. He he, he passed away. Um, but like for a few years, you know, we got to film with him and do a bunch of shit with him. It was cool. Um, but that was something we never would have expected, you know. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I was definitely at a point too because you get burned out, you know. But then like filming with him, it, you don't, it doesn't feel like you're filming. Mm-hmm. It's just like you know you're hanging out and stuff. So it was like really cool to. To do that, um, so that was great. So obviously, wish we would have got to that sooner. What about the flip side of that, where you guys were like, "This is going to be the thing," and then it just didn't work? Uh, I mean, that happens all the time. Yeah, <laughs> people are going to love this. <laughs> YouTube deletes it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Pain. Yeah. Do you get flagged a lot for? Yeah, that's Cause, what sucks. Because well, the you way can't you talk do anything. on this podcast makes me feel like you, you're not on YouTube and you don't know about it. YouTube? Yeah. What's that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they seem pretty, you know, judgmental, and Ju- you seem pretty loose. Dude, Do you yeah, get they, they're reported? like, and I, I don't ever like to like talk shit because obviously it gave me everything I have, really. Um, but I mean, dude, it sucks. There's so like, there's so many like things that are like hypocritical and like, like I can't ride my dirt bike naked because it's because I'm naked. But you can have a rap video where someone shakes their ass completely naked in a sexual way. That's a good point. But that's considered art. But what I do is not because it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? But if you do it in but I get, a but flattering get, way where you've got like a little cup on or something, then you could do it, right? Because um, it's the general. Flattering? No, I mean, me like, on a dirt bike is pretty flattering. How does that flattering? I don't know. You could get the right like little <laughs> little little G string, and it makes you okay. look even no, better. No, same you thing. Should try it, Tony. Same send thing. Your like, wouldn't be flattering they're, on me. They're nuts that. with that stuff. So, um, didn't you ride a dirt bike with like a onesie on, like a, like a little thing? Did I not see? You? I think I was naked, probably. 
It was probably oh, blurred. So you did do it. Yeah, so Oh man, it's like that's like a dark hole. It's like endless. Well basically if you don't monetize it, they're way like their their shit's all glitched. So like if you don't monetize it, they're pretty they you do kind of whatever you want. Uh, but once you try to monetize it, you're gonna lose like a million views. Cause they're gonna be like it's like so weird. Wow. And these are not it's like we try to tell them, but then they like think I'm like making it up. But like I've been doing this like nine years now, so it's like I'm very consistent every single time. Yeah. So I can see when something's off, you know. Yeah. If my watch time's up and my you know click through rates up. Right, we're, we're having that same issue with the ride channel. It's oh, just we like, really have a glitch. Yeah. Like that, it's like, and and it just has kind of sabotages it. And then I do something, you know, I do 50 videos the same way, and everyone's fine. But then we do one thing different, and it's way down here. It's like clearly there's something, you know, it's not it's common sense. Uh. But yeah, they're just. Um, yeah, I just don't like, we have to really like tone everything down for YouTube. Yeah. Like we, we do this and they're like, oh yeah, that's too much. You got to delete that. Or it's like, oh, it's like, what the fuck? So like, where do you put all that stuff to make money out of it? Or do you not? <clears throat> um, well, sometimes we just won't, we just don't monetize the video and just put it in or. And that just sort of still brings entertainment and the next one you bring that is monetized, that helps that. Yeah, like to monetize, you kind of got to like tone it down a bit. And then if you don't monetize, you can do really yeah. whatever. But still, even when we do whatever, sometimes they'll delete the videos, which suck, or age restrict the videos. Yeah. And if you, if you get age restricted, you definitely lose like, I'd say like 500,000, a million views. Excuse my cluelessness, but do you have like a movie or anything like that in the works so that you can... We have a bunch of footage saved for like a documentary. I want to do that one day, but I, I mean, I feel like I'm just in like the middle. So yeah. it's like I don't have like an yeah. ending right now. So You're going to have an ending before you drop that. Yeah, so one day I'd like to do that. When, maybe when I do something like really what to about, help the world. I don't are know. you doing a uh, sponsored content? Like like brand deals? Yeah, um, but in your actual videos. Uh, we have some, not a lot though. Yeah. Do you do music at all? No, I'm horrible at music. Yeah, but that would be that would help. I... Like like me singing? Yeah. No, it's like it's like atrocious. It's funny though. Surprised he didn't that, make. Oh, okay. You make a music video. You mean he's doing stuff? He could sing our um. I can do the video part. Just the singing is like it's so bad. These guys tried to make us do a song. <laughs> yeah, Tony, Tony, <laughs> they bring that up. It, they Tony, don't ever do a, a song, song, man. <laughs> they presented it as a song to like help us grow. You know what I mean? No, like, don't. Make, yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to take a shot at it? See it, Tony. You, you the moment you make it's a music to the tune video, of like a virgin. Yeah. No. All you gotta no? do is just sing the words. <laughs> and that's kind of adjacent, right? Virginity rocks. We're doing like like a virgin parody. Are Maybe you actually doing you. a song? Yeah. What? You're doing it. He, you cannot do a song. That's what we said. He if said, you do a song, it would like... They, we're not doing they it. They would just take you out of like the history books probably. <laughs> See? Like, oh, they put an they'd put an asterisk next to your 900 <laughs> shit. Tony, Tony used the polite one and said that's not really our brand, but the way you said it might even be that better. Is, it's like... That is literally the conversation that happened yeah. right before you walked in the door. Oh, yeah. no. It's like, it's like, you know how they say to like stay in your lane? That's yeah. kind of what I try to do. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if we, you know what? We should take advice from him. The he's moment not, I start he's got singing, a YouTube following. We should really. Like, yeah. All right, tell us more, yeah, Sage seriously. Danny. What should we do without this? It's episode. like seeing these like retired fighters going to get knocked out. It's like, dude, just stop, man. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, those it's are like sad. sad. He, he knows our brand. It's almost yeah. sad. He, maybe he we should ask brand. him what our brand Danny is. Danny been here for fifteen minutes. And <laughs> he knows the brand. He knows what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Seriously. <laughs> Man. So speaking of like a virgin, how did you come up with virginity rocks? Uh, nice, Tony. I, seen it. I, I just seen it somewhere. Sick segue. Oh, you saw it somewhere. So I seen it. I, I mean, I feel like it. there was some religious push to have that happen, right? Like I don't some, know. I just like seen it somewhere. I was like, oh, that's funny. So I tried to buy it and I like kept look Googling and I couldn't find it for sale anywhere. So I just like made my own. So you trademarked it? Yeah, we have a trademark, yeah. <laughs> but I like changed yeah. the like the one I seen was like pretty shitty like design, so I like changed the font, you know. I kinda uh -huh. like I like University of Oregon's text, so we kinda mimicked that a little bit and then uh <laughs> made it our own. Is that kind of the cash cow of everything? Uh it was. Um I really can't wear that. Yeah, I think now is the uh, is I mean it's still definitely That's it's, ironic. It's definitely the Especially best. Especially on one. you. Right. Oh, it's hilarious with me wearing it. Um, but yeah, now we have the I Heart Hot Moms. That owns. Oh yeah, these. Wait, this, this is like the the top seller right now. It's like that a, is. You'd, I would you'd wear like that. that one. <laughs> <laughs> we also do I Heart Hot Dads if you want one of those. Wait, what That's if you wore pretty, both at once? I would do that. I don't like making sense though. So. Can, can I have some of your merch or do I have to buy it? Yeah, yeah, Stefan, come on, dude. Stefan, I'm a large. No, you're not. What, what do you mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> you just call me small? Medium. Definitely a medium. <laughs> you're pretty it's funny on YouTube. Like, you look more like, you're pretty fit, dude. You look like you could do skateboarding and snowboarding and stuff way better. It, it yeah. is, un- you, up close, it is uncanny how much you look like Sean. I like Sean. I met him. It, it's, it's shocking, though. Like, it was cool. I wish he had the long hair. We, we uh, took a picture together. It's not that hard. Oh, yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah, if you got his haircut. <laughs> he needs and, his old haircut back. <clears throat> right. Agreed. Because my hair used to be longer, too. And I didn't, I didn't, in the moment, I didn't realize how long it was. Let me find, let me find the picture. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <clears throat> but then like when I watched old videos, my hair was like way longer and it really looked like his. I was like, dude, who let me have that haircut? <laughs> it looks so bad. Like it looks it looks horrible. Is he familiar with your body of work? Uh maybe a little. Yeah, we we got to meet him and stuff. It was cool. <laughs> he he's got his he's got the stylized slick hair now yeah. though. Yeah, we need, we dude, need like we need like Sean of, of ten GQ years ago now. here, and then you. You could get into like the Emmys. Or Wait, something. are you wearing like, a gold? Yeah, medal? Are you Why? wearing his gold medal? <laughs> yeah, we like switched out for <clears> this. Yeah, he's wearing his gold medal. That's we we sick. just did that actually at the X Games. We for the athlete parking, uh, he was driving. I was like, yeah, yeah we're uh, I'm a Sean White, and then they like let us through. Yes, it's pretty funny. So easy. Wait, you said I'm with Sean oh, White or I am Sean White? Quick, I said I am Sean White, and the people like let us through. Yeah. I say wow. I am Jason Ellis, and they go, so what? You're still not getting in. <laughs> Soon. Uh, get this no, they say, wait, are you with Burt Kreischer? Yeah, yeah. Somebody tried to fight me at X Games for trying to go pee in the porta potty, like security guard guy. Yeah. Because you were, be- you were backstage. Yeah, I had to go pee break, so I had to get this porta potty at the vert ramp, so I would leave the X Games stage. And go to the porta potty. And we had no party. time in between. Yeah, and it was like, you got five minutes. And I was like, okay. So I run down there and I got my pass and I show the dude the pass. And he goes, let me see that again. And I'm like, come on, dude, I'm busting. And I go into the porta potty and shut the door. And then I feel him pulling on the door. What? And I'm like, what are you doing, dude? So I finish peeing and I come out and I'm like, what is your problem, dude? And he's like, what are you going to do about it, bitch? And I, and <laughs> Wait, that, that's a quote. It was pretty much like that, and then I put my forehead on his forehead, and I was like, "And then we made Take it out." Take a shot, bitch. <laughs> then we went in the porter body. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "Let's see what you got," and I was like, "That's what I thought." And he was like, "You know, f you," and I was like, "F you, dude." And then I went back to the stage, and I was like, "Hey, man, just so you know, security tried to fight me for paying." And then they went over there, and he told the guy that is my boss to go f himself as well. Whoa! So he was like, "You're out of here." Wow. So the, kids, the security guard, guard? Yeah. The security guard got kicked out? Yeah. Oh, damn. Then he wasn't waiting for you in the parking lot? It's ironic. I mean, dude, you, you good. that's not, I'll win, you know? Like, yeah, you're a security guard, but I'm trained. The, the audacity to, to pull on a porta potty door, though, that is that's next level. That's the bit level. where I was like, I don't, that's the next level. I, I should, very unprofessional to get into a fist fight at the X Games when you're a host. You come back, it'd be amazing. We cut for commercial, you come back, like, with, with some blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, we're, we're, it's fine. Don't worry yeah. about it. We're good. <laughs> Would have been exciting. Did you, you went to X Games this last time? Yeah, it was the first time I went. Sick. How was been? it for you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I hadn't been in a while. I, said, have you ever, I hadn't I, been have in a while, been? but we went up to this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I seen did. you there. I, remember. Yeah. I took a picture of you and sent it to a limb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What um, was your favorite event? We didn't get to see much. Just uh, the motocross was cool. That, like, uh, I don't Big know. Air Big Air. Yeah, yeah that shit was crazy. It was. That was really Amazing. cool to see in person. And then uh, yep. the, the BMX where they had, like, that straight kind of run thing. To a track. Yeah, that was sick, too. Yep. You're into Big Airs. Yeah, I don't want to do it, but I like watching it. Right. That's yeah, a smart guy. Yeah. Something about Big Air is that it's very tantalizing, but when it goes wrong, right before it goes really wrong, boy, do you feel stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Every you, time you I've been that? in it. Yeah. Oh, and he's I've had done, some, he's really? had some bad I've ones. I've done a, yeah. Bu- yeah, a bunch of real bad ones, and Moto, because there's so much time in the air, so when you take off and you know you're wrong, you get like, it feels like 20 seconds, but it's probably like one, but you're just like, oh my, what? <laughs> what have what I done? I, what was I thinking? <laughs> I mean, I know that on a way smaller scale. I'm probably, yeah. probably going like 10 feet up, but sometimes I'm like, <laughs> like you're trying, trying to get that bitch to go up mm-hmm. a little bit, but I, I'm sure it's a- Panic rev. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Sure, I'm sure it's a way different, but like, I, I know it just a little bit. We were going to do a stunt. You'd probably be into it. I was going to get him to drive- uh, a side by side, off a jump, 
and then have like a resi mat landing, so like over like a 50-foot gap, and I'm on the side of the door with skateboard in my hand and jump in the air, and when we're in the air, jump off the car and then land on my skateboard next to the car and drive off together. Hmm. Would you do that? Probably not. Good. I'll drive Which the, part of that would you not do? I'll yeah. probably drive the I'll You drive would drive it, yeah. Would you, I would drive would you? it, yeah. Because I'm telling yeah. you, if you set up the ramp and, the, and it's the right transition for the car... All you got to do is just keep the gas on, and when you yeah, in the I think egg, jump. Well, maybe I'd have to see it, and then I'd be like, and figure it out. But I, I feel like I could jump a razor. He did. He did try this thing. Really? Yeah. So you're for just holding while. on the side. On but, the yeah, yeah, but like the, the, setup, the, the, the setup was wrong. Hmm. Yeah, they made instead of having the jump video? straight, they had my of it? they had my yeah. landing ramp off Where's, to the side, so I had to jump sideways. Jamie, pull the video, man. <laughs> I want to see that. This is the first time we've actually had uh, a screen with real time. This is, this is info. Sick. So, sorry, I got to interrupt this episode because we have another new sponsor. StockX is an online marketplace reselling a curated selection of the hottest sneakers, apparel, electronics, collectibles, trading cards, and accessories. Listen to me, man. I know all about it. StockX's innovative model features and broad range of products. Global supply access, real-time market pricing, rigorous verification process. Ha. Oh. And anonymous transactions. Yeah, that's it. StockX is introducing a brand new feature, Express Ship, designed to enhance your shopping experience by ensuring quick delivery within just three business days. Easily identify Express Ship items by looking out for the rocket icon next to the product. These are already verified items stored at StockX's authentication centers, ready to be shipped as soon as you place an order. Shop StockX.com now with a $15 off your $150 purchase promo code HVW15 off. Again, shop StockX.com now for $15 off if your purchase is $150 or more. Promo code HVW15 off. You do not have to choose between better hair growth and your health. There's a holistic solution for men that promotes both healthier hair and whole body wellness. Get ahead of thinning hair with Nutrafol's whole body approach to hair growth. No drugs, no compromises. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement clinically shown to improve your hair growth, thickness, and visible scalp coverage. Nutrafol's hair growth nutraceuticals go beyond genetics to multi-target the root cause of thinning including stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging, and lifestyle through whole body health. Physician formulated using natural medical grade ingredients, Nutrafol's drug-free patented technology provides consistent, reliable results without compromising your sexual health. In a clinical study, men showed progressive improvement in hair growth and thickness after three and six months. Nutrafol is also trusted and recommended by more than 3,000 top doctors. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and entering the promo code HAWKWOLF to save $10 off your first month subscription. This offer is only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $10 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code HAWKWOLF. Do you know who Uncle Ronnie is? He does, like, motocross stuff. Uncle Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie Mac. Is oh, his. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going to do, he got hurt, but we were going to do, we were going to try to break the record for the, the world's longest tandem dirt bike jump. Yeah. But we didn't get to do it. You know, I did another stupid thing. I got towed by a dirt bike on a skateboard, and we jumped over a 60-foot gap. And in the air, I jump off my skateboard and get on the back of the bike and ride along. That ride was off. sick. Right. There you go. Oh, this is it? Yeah. Like, See, it's just the wrong angle. Yeah, like the ramp was like off to the side. That's you right there? Yeah. That helmet is sick. You should wear that when you skate first. You should wear that when you do your podcast. I should wear that all day. <laughs> you should I wear know. it all the time. Come on, do a plug. <laughs> Get them I'd to be pay you. so much better off right now if I had had that on my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> the reason he brought that up is because he wants redemption on this. To, to yeah, I want to make, make it. it. Like at one point, a... we were going to figure it out. but Where's it at? Uh, I believe it was somewhere near Lake you Elsinore. Gotta where that, you got to go all the way. that bump is up in the YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, go to the end. But I kept trying it. And, and then because the bank is so banky, when I would land, I would get wheel bite. So I couldn't make it. Oh, but is that I, what it was? You're getting wheel bite? It just kept, like, it was more of a, like, dropping down, like, 15 stairs. Like, when you landed, it was just like, you boom. Need make, you need to make a YouTube Shorts channel so you can just find this real quick. Yeah. We need YouTube. You need, yeah, no, we need, oh, we need his okay. consultation. 
Oh, you overshot it so Bro, hard. Who there. is filming this video, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I love him. What the fuck? I love that him. guy <laughs> filming needs a helmet, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> so what? Uh, what's in the works? Um, oh, here it is. Almost. Oh, yeah, I would drive the, that I was drive the one. The you should have made that one. Yeah, you had that Thanks, one. That's pretty sick. Sorry. That would be cool if you I landed it so and had good. another ramp into water. Yeah, no, be water funny. sounds way better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, what am I doing? Maybe we could do a collab. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, do yeah. that. I, I'm. Go. I'll just tow you I'll around. I'll do the dumb you bit where this. you get hurt. <laughs> yeah. You do the smart bit where. Yeah, um, yeah, we're just trying to. We've been just trying to make good videos. Honestly, like, put a good YouTube video out every week, and then. Every week, that's the goal. That's what we do. Yeah, we we do every single week. Um, so I mean, yeah, we're like nine years in of every week. Do you take it's vacations? Um, no, not really. Because your life's kind of like a vacation, huh? From the outside looking in. You're saying that it's not, you're just really working all the time and you're like, man, this is a lot. That's a, that's a hustle to put I mean, these think, videos out every week. Yeah, I think everyone, I think you guys know how it is probably. It's like on the outside there, oh, that's cool. You're going to go skateboard every day. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. must be nice. So you're saying that it's. Tell my hip that. Well, yeah. I don't, I mean, I do a bunch <laughs> of other shit besides just YouTube, you know? So it's like, I'm always working on stuff. But I, I prefer that. I don't, if I went on a vacation right now for a week, I'd be like, Fucking losing my mind. I'd be, be trying so to make videos while you're there. To or post. just like I, I like working. I, yeah. That's why I do what I do because I want to keep doing this. So, so what yeah. other stuff do you do that's not the YouTube stuff? Well, just the clothing alone takes up a shit ton of time too. You're like really invested in it yourself. So you don't have somebody else running well, it. We do, but like we're always like trying to come up with new ideas, you know. And how often do you have a new item? New? Um, I don't know. We're always every month a new new T-shirt or a new. Like a whole a whole collection every month. And then we drop stuff in retailers too, like once, once a quarter in retailers, like 20 items. Wow. So it's working. We're, we're trying to keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think... It's going to end at some point, you know? I was going to ask, that's my <laughs> question, like, because it's that's just the way it is with, it with is, this yeah. stuff. Like, eventually you'll be uncool because you were so cool. Yeah. And you're, are you saving, like, or are you looking to transition somewhere else? Are you ready for... This um, ending? Yeah, like I said, I like the, the business part. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like if you just have money, you're kind of good. So I, yeah. I, I just want to make a lot of money. And then, Do you follow Rob Dyrdek's podcast and take all his advice? I mean, honestly, I, I, I've, I've watched some, but he, he posts a lot. So it's yes, like, I can't, I can't like keep up with all that. But Do you get up at four? No, yes. I go to bed at four, to be honest. It's like, I'm like the opposite of him. But one you day, maybe I'll make the switch. What time do you get up if you go to bed at four? Uh, I woke up, well, I think I went to bed at like 2.30 last night. But I'm coming from Florida, so it's like three hours. Um, like, do you get sleep? Are you a sleeper or do you not even sleep? No, nah, yeah, I make sure. Once I go to bed, I just sleep. Okay. I, I try to sleep like seven hours at least. Okay. Every night or eight. Um, I probably woke up at like 10, 10 30 today. Okay. That I, sounds fun. Yeah, I didn't want to wake up too <laughs> yeah, late. Can you imagine? <laughs> not. Nah, it sounds fun though. I just can't go to bed. I like, it's hard to go to sleep at night. Yeah. Try if I could kids. get in bed by like 10, 10, 11, that would help. But it's like, I just like sit there thinking of shit. And Do you watch other people's stuff to see where you stand or, like, stay competitive? Do you have any of that in like you? Like YouTubers? Yeah. Not really. I, I always, like, look at life like a running race, to be honest. And I feel like if you're running and you're like this... You're going to slow down. Yeah. So I just try to always do that. I watch nice. a lot. Honestly, I still watch Bam Margera all the time. That's a way better analogy think, than anything Bert Kreischer just said, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, you think he's funny? As a comedian, I respect his skills and how he can control a room. Because he sometimes comes across like he's not thinking about anything at all. But when he's up there, he runs it. Hmm. Like it's a, it's a gift. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there are times when that his story seems hard. like they're not, they're just gonna, they're just going off yeah. track and then he brings it back. Yeah. So <clears throat> he knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah he does. It's working. Wow. And he's a lovely guy too. I love Bert. Yeah, and huge dick too. I haven't Man. seen it. And he doesn't talk about it like that, <laughs> but maybe. How, am I not in the know about it? It's this? a YouTube thing. Just go with it. All right. <laughs> it's a Jeep thing. You wouldn't understand. <clears throat> It's funny how you say, I don't watch him, I don't know him, but he's got a big, like, that's it. Yeah. I Googled it. That was a that's weird turn. No, that's all you need to know, really. <laughs> Seemed like you came, you, yeah. you came with ammunition on that. Yeah. Do you um, guys think he's funny? Because I don't know anything about him, but I heard no, I this. No, I know of him. I, I just haven't seen his specials or anything like right. that. 
But I see, but you've seen his crotch. there's not many people that have their shirt off. You know what I mean? Like, right. <laughs> I've seen like the images and stuff. <clears throat> he really likes That's doing true. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I did your podcast. Um, was that thank last you for week? That. Seems like it was a year ago. We needed that. Well, thank you. Um, and you had a neighbor just kind of lurk or come over. It was, it was awkward. Did he? Who was yeah, it? Yeah. Did he, like, did he appear in the window or something? Uh, you guys the, remember that? The, um, Jewish but, Godfather? Huh? The Jewish Godfather? Did you, you didn't get you didn't get to meet him, huh? I didn't meet him. Next time. Because you guys were like, we're recording. But but then yeah, from yeah. what I understand, <laughs> you have issues with neighbors a lot. Yeah. Or they, they or they they are nosy. Just, I don't know. He just kind of shows up. He he's a nice guy. Honestly, we filmed with him. We, we've gotten really good footage with him. He's like he, So is he he's trying he's trying to insert himself. I mean, he's inserted. <laughs> he's fully in. <laughs> That's um, what I mean. So I had to like, by I sheer honestly, force. I honestly got him a phone so he'd like stop coming to the house. He, 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 wait, and, and wait, I, you got what? him a phone? He didn't have a phone, so I would have got his for him anyway. But it does help that because he would just come to my house every day and like bang on the door. And like I said, I go to bed late. So it's wait, like, he owns a house, but he doesn't well, own he a rent, phone? He rents a, he rents a house. But he I, I don't know his whole story, I'll be oh. honest. I don't know. But I know he does not have a phone. He rents somewhere. He just kept coming to my house banging on the door. What good is getting him a phone then? Cause then I was like, dude, you got to stop coming to my house, man. Just like, just, just text me. Yeah. Uh, but then now he just texts me all the time. It's like I don't know. It, it, sound, it seemed better in my head. I was like, oh, he'll just like. And then when I don't reply, he'll just keep sending question marks. I'm like, dude. <laughs> but <laughs> but wow. he, he means well. He does mean well. He's just you know how it is. It's like it's like your just an annoying neighbor. You know, he's cool, but you gave a crazy annoying. fan your phone number. He's not really. A a, he's not a fan. Though. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I can't. I can't. Yeah, I wouldn't liken like, that to a fan. Okay. Yeah. No. Not a. We did that before too. God, that was the worst idea ever. Just call all the time. Remember Justin, man, always calling. We had to block him. He'd call off other numbers. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I did a podcast where the guy said my phone number on the podcast and posted it. And then it was like a year of people calling me. You kept that number? Yep. That's, that's I got a number. And you're just answering random numbers. My number is the same number as all the red dragons. And that's how that stays. What does that mean? What? what so what's Red Dragons is like a. Oh, they are their consecutive people. numbers. Yeah, we all have the same last four numbers. <laughs> what's wow, the red that is what's commitment the red to a bit. Dragon? What's that? What's the Red Dragon? It's like a skateboard thing that started in Vancouver, like where they group just, of skaters. A brand? It huh? turned into a brand, a brand but it used right? to just be yeah. a gang that was like. Oh, I see. Security tried to kick us out, and we'd be like, "Nah, mate, you're going." You guys leave. <laughs> you have your own security that makes them leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> FSU. Yeah. My daddy owns the spot. They were the original FSU. A little bit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. But Red, Tra Red Dragons turned into a big clothing company, distribution, and then just like what is potentially going to happen to everybody on YouTube, not as cool. Yep. We had our time. Now it's more of like, oh, you're a Red Dragon? Wow, you must be old as hell. Uh, but I, yeah, I feel like yeah, you've, yeah. you've built yourself that's a foundation that that's, that's not likely to happen all at once. I hope not. So, it, yes. You never know. It could. You right? never know, but yeah. I don't. I don't think. I just want to be ready, you know. Just but like, I want to ask you about your. Uh, you have this history of having neighbor issues. Yeah. Is yeah. that because you're doing all this chaos at your house? So or, you bad no, neighbor. we don't do shit in LA. To be honest, we we don't really don't do anything. Um, mm -hmm. In Florida, though, yeah, they kept when I first moved into this area. It was like an area in, in this my hometown. I have a small hometown, but the area where I live is like the only spot where you could really like shoot guns in your backyard and like, mm. you know, do whatever you want. And then they're mm. like, they kept getting mad because we're doing whatever we want. It's like, mm. but it's like the only spot you can really live and do this it's stuff. It's legal. It's legal, yeah. So, but I mean, I get it. It's annoying you yeah. know, when you're older. What time do you shoot guns? Like, do you shoot Whenever we want. So, like, two in the morning, you Sometime, shoot guns? <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, I, remember, I can see the, how that could hey, be a this little guy, bit. Hey, <laughs> Remember the neighbor, like, Jason? He's like, <laughs> I forget what he's saying. Wait, but, a neighbor chased you? He's like, I got work in the morning. Which, uh, as you get older, you start understanding more. You know, that he you, does have work in the morning yeah, and you, you woke him bad. up with gunshots at Dude, two in the morning? We're just yeah. idiots, huh. man. But, I mean, you know. Who, who is to blame? Life is like yeah. a, life is like, you know, it's like a circle, man. It's like. Right. <laughs> you know, it all Why are you getting up. woken up at, with gunshots in the morning now? No, you I think just, it's gonna happen I, to you. Okay, if anyone gets woken up from any type of noise, this is no. I, I don't get paid for this. Obviously, just get some AirPod Maxes. I sleep through everything with those on. Oh, you wear them? I'll just, when I can't because I can't sleep when there's noise. I just put that shit on and I I don't want. What are up. you What are you listening to? I just put on some fucking rain noise. Like, wow. You know, you know, like the sounds of rain. Yeah. yeah. But one time it was like I used to live in like my office, my old office, for a minute. Because uh, I had sold my house and there was all this noise and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" I thought it was like trees or like the, it was like the windows. There was a, a tropical storm in Florida, and I just put those on. I slept through the whole tropical storm like nothing. 
So Man. it's like, that's what I would. You wake in. up, the roof is off, you're floating Seriously, in water. It's, I slept with a friend the other day, and they go, is it okay if I put on uh, this track to help me go to sleep? And I was like, yeah, whatever. And it was like uh, waves and stuff. Yeah, and I was like, cool. Too. But then there was a voice <laughs> what? that that's was weird. talking <laughs> over it. And I couldn't really understand what the voice was saying, so it kind of sounded like it was demonic. And I was like, wait, is this person listening to, like, evil demon seance stuff with this, the backdrop of waves? <laughs> Under the cover And I was like, waves. am I getting possessed right now? <laughs> <laughs> am I, I going to wake up, like, possessed? Because it was, I, I went to sleep to the soothing sounds of Satan in surfing. <laughs> Yeah. You must have been in Florida. Satan Soothes? San Francisco. Uh, same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty bad. <laughs> Damn. Oh, my God. Yeah. I haven't been right since. I keep seeing you trying to drink your drink, and you keep spilling it on yourself. I've poured water <laughs> on myself. I've poured orange drink on myself. Yeah. It's a rocky, rocky day. <laughs> I yeah, well, you, 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 someone get this guy a straw. You, pre <laughs> <laughs> you preempted it with, well, I was doing stand up till 1 a.m. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Whatever. You living the dream, Jason. Right? Yep. Living it. Living the dream. <sighs> Sailing it, you know? <laughs> Come sail away, Alice. You jerk off. Yeah. Can you do nose wheelies on a dirt bike? No, not really. No, not weird. Like stoppies, right? That's what it's called. Why did you scoff? I can do a stoppie. Because a everybody bit. can do nose wheelies. No, I'm telling you, I'm not that good. All right. And he's I, trying I to be safe. He's not even wearing pads. Like, it's right. just like I can do like Scoffing okay him. enough at like Sorry. everything, if that makes sense. I just like to scoff at people. <laughs> well, you <laughs> yes, can probably clearly. read good, right? Huh? You could probably read pretty good. Like I said, just I'm just okay at everything. That's oh, about okay. it. okay. A little bit more than okay. Well, notice how I didn't scoff at that. Yeah. Because I True. can't read either. Jack I'm of not, all trades, master of none. I mean, I just listen to it. I just have it read it for me. It's way right. quicker. Have you ever read a book? I have. Right. How many? Maybe three. All right. How about you? One. What were the themes? Actually four. Actually four. What right. were the themes of those books? Honestly, I couldn't read as a kid. I hated it. It was me like, too. but until I started reading about like something you enjoyed, like, mm -hmm. you know, like a... Tony Hawk biography or something. You know, if you read like some, someone you're interested in, I feel like that's the easiest way to get through some shit. Do you read that? Uh, no, I no did way. not. No. No. Yeah. I will get to you it. You threw it out there, but I caught it. Well, I anyone like, here watching think so. that's a fan of you, you know what I mean? It's like when you, I, when, no, I when, you can, that. Uh, when you can read someone you like admire or whatever, it's way easier. I think I read like a Derek Jeter book when I was a kid. Like stuff like that is, is way, way helpful. More inspirational. Yeah, it's just You're like, not reading fiction. Because like, I feel like in the school system, they just like put you on all this bullshit that you don't care about or want to learn. You're like, you're like, you're like 12 years old. It feels like you're on drugs. Like, and they're having you read all this. Sh it's like, I don't want to learn any of that stuff. So if they like let you kind of read more of like things you're interested in, it'd sure. be a little easier. Have you gotten uh, offers to do any cameos on movies? No, I wish. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Because like, I don't think I'd really be that good of an actor, but like, if it was like a little. Ten seconds. Cameo playing yourself. Yeah, that'd be great. Or yeah. even like I'm a janitor and I'm just like, you know, like shaking my head or something. I've it always wanted to get killed by John Wick. Or that I would be like sick. I had a shot for yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, you definitely could. Very specific role. Or the, I can't see. Or, or uh, the equalizer. He, he could kill me too. Security yeah. guard, you know what I mean? I like, I like your, you've got small, I like your small goals more like, I just want to be a janitor and shake my that'd head. That would be like, sick, That's yeah. a good... I don't want to be stressed that about it. That just seems you know? more tangible. Yeah. Yeah, I could see you as a janitor for sure. Yeah, I got it. I think I could do it. You could still be in school. Maybe like one or two, like I say, like maybe like five words max. You know right. what I mean? And then I'm, yeah. I'm done. And that's all I got to remember. It would be easy. Right. Yeah. Well, anyone I'm out not, there writing scripts? Yeah, honestly, I would love it. But then you Throw still get my, you, you get my promotion at the same time. That's win -win. right. Think about it. It's a business deal. Yeah. Eight million. Oh, true. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. If I had a movie, you'd be in it. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first guy I'd call. But if, at the start of the movie, you have to do a nose wheelie on a dirt bike. I could learn it if you yeah. teach me. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I don't think it would take that much to learn. You said everyone can do it, evidently. I was lying. I just I wanted can't. him to eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a really I, I good could, way to eat learn. shit on a dirt bike to try that. Yeah. I don't know. You, you obviously think the Axel Hodges kid. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That shit seems fake when he fucking when I watch his little clips. I'm like, he's what pretty the good, fuck? right? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the level with everybody. Look, Action sports now is yeah. like, because uh, everyone had to get better than the people before them, and the people before them were doing heavy stuff, and now people do stuff where I'm like, wait, 
is that, did you really do that? And then usually they'll do it over and over again. And I'm like, yeah, they're, they're really doing that. Skateboarding, moto, like even the, I ride moto, but that, that quarter pipe, I was like, dude, 50 feet above the quarter pipe. These guys are insane. How, yeah, how they track that though, I was curious. <sighs> Just they, real, I think they do the highest part because in skateboarding they do the lowest part for high air. Yeah, but are they tracking it? Like he's, who, what he's who, asking, like what's the, the lowest point? How the are you getting point? the distance? Like, There's how, an how they, air pole. And uh, then, uh, like from where they took off? Yeah. Not from the ground because I nah. hate that. Yeah, no, nah, we wouldn't do that. Yeah. It's okay. from the coping. That's sick. Because yeah. when people say you skate vert, right, and you skate like we have a 13-foot ramp and you go 10 feet above, like he's 20 feet above the – no, yeah. you're not. No, you're not. From flat. Yeah, from yeah. flat, exactly. <laughs> if, when 20 Jake, feet in the air. I'm like, that nah. one guy, if Jake I pulled Brown, off too much. Jake Brown at the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shoes yeah. yeah. Oh if I, if I pull off too far, yes, that's I was that, on the flat. I, know, I had time to run out there and let him land on me. Should have got him, dude. I that thought about it. Day. Was he, he, he's fine now? Yeah, he was what, he fine that broke, night. He broke his legs or something? No, nah, he got lacerated. Uh, dude, that shit was so crazy. Lacerated lung and kidney. Terrible. And after he did the slant, because I. I woke him up. Like when he when he landed, he was on his face with his eyes open, not breathing. So I thought he was dead. And then all of a sudden, he started doing that. You know, when you get the wind knocked out of you, like uh, uh, he started doing that with his eyes open, still unconscious. So I'm like, okay, he's alive. And then the medics and me helped roll him over. And then he started to come to, and he goes, he goes, oh, what happened? How many rides have I got left? And I was like, <laughs> you're done for the day, mate, for sure. <laughs> and he was that's, like, that's, he's that's like Jake <laughs> did I win? And I was like, I don't, maybe, I don't know. That's true. Let's just get you up. But then he went to hospital, like ambulance, all that stuff. And he was in the room next to me. So that night I he go back. Room, the hotel room next to him. Yeah. I start hearing beats because he's got a turntable in his room. I knew he did. So I hear the beats playing. So I go over and knock on the door. He opens the door. He's got a cigarette and a beer playing the turntables. Dude. And I go, are you all right, dude? Like, what, what's the damage? And he goes, uh, I fractured my wrist, got lacerated lungs and kidney. And I'm like, lacerated lungs and kidney, and you're drinking and smoking? And he goes, yeah, mate. I was like, all right, Jakey. You know, that was it. He could walk around and stuff? He was out that no night way. at the after party with a cane. That I was a little kid. I remember yeah. feeling so bad for him. He was I can tell you that, that the protocol for medical care nowadays would not allow him to have walked off the ramp the way yeah. he did. Damn. Um, I mean, he got that, carried, but he did kind of walk too, and that was really dumb. Uh, yeah, I mean, that yeah. was... <laughs> he could have had... <laughs> that him. was wholly negligent. Yep. Um, but no, we didn't have, that was the weird thing about those days of X Games is that no, we didn't have any sort of protocol or rules like that. And even, even I was commentating on air and they're like, all right, guys, we're still on. I'm like, what am I going to say? Like, what yeah. do we say? And then I got, I got, I got shit because I was like, he made the 720 the first time. That was the first time anyone ever done a Ollie 7, right? Yeah. Over the gap. I was like, I can't believe he did that. You know, I, I'm just trying to fill the, the dead air. Because, and they're like, oh, you're being insensitive or something? Yeah, they're just like, why would you say that? I go, what was I going to yeah, say? They, yeah. They do that. Like, like the last I hope game. he's not dead. Yeah. I, why, are you, why, are we, why are we doing this live anyway? You know what I mean? Like, why yeah, are you yeah. not cutting away? Yeah, they like, should this definitely is, cut away on that. This is tragic. No, they were like, turn we'll it off. We'll be right <laughs> back. What's they that? Were, yeah. We'll be right back. That's no. what I should have said. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Next time I need you in my ear. Yeah, we'll be right back. Yeah. This is not really my right, brand. Can, uh, Tony, you need to cut the commercial. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that was heavy. It was like, it, and was... live, like people, you know, people thought they witnessed someone dying and kids were crying and shit. It was crazy, yep. man. It was awful. Yep. But he lives. But he lives. He's still around. One of the toughest people I've ever met. He might be the toughest person I've What's ever been your worst injury? Um, fuck, I've been good, honestly. Just my leg, probably. You broke tib-fib? Um, or your ankle? Ankle and tibia. Oh, nice. Yeah, that sucked, to be honest. I actually was just ollieing a stair set. It's like I had done it a million times. Oh. And I, my foot kind of fell off the board just a little bit and like caught the ground. Oh. And then it kept going. And then it went like that, and I fell back on it and like did the splits, kind of. Yeah. And then it just like, it was like... You mean it went, uh, the, your foot went over your nose? Like... Off the like tail. I landed like in my, because I'm regular, and I landed like the toe kind of caught the ground a little. Like, oh, your back foot. Mm -hmm. Your back foot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a spiral. But sticky surface? Um, I don't even know, but it was like a spiral break, yeah. and then I broke the growth plate in my ankle. That you was, knew that right was, away? Oh, yeah, I just laid on the ground. I was like, 
Oh, oh, the guy at the skate park, his name's Stafford. He was cool, but he, I was like, Stafford! <laughs> I was like, and I had, I had my cousin come pick me up. Dude, that shit hurt so fucking bad. How'd you get out of the skate park? They just like carried me, and I was just oh. like, <laughs> dude, I was, I was fucking dying. And then I had to sit in the hospital, for, I remember like four hours just holding it, and I was like, dude, this sucks. And then I had like- Really? The, they didn't give anything for the pain? Um, no, we were in the waiting room, so I had to wait for, for a while, and then- and then I think, I, I'm sure they did once I got in there. Yep. Um, yeah, that, I mean, I had never had surgery or anything, so fortunately, I'm just trying not to get How hurt. old were you? I was 15 mm. then. It's traumatic. And then how long was the recovery? Uh, I think I was remember? in the wheelchair for like six, maybe like seven, eight months. In a wheelchair? The wheelchair was like, I think six or five or six months. What? Yeah, it took a while. That shit sucked. Wow. Six months. I think I had the, ca- the cast was up to here. And then I, I, yeah, I was in the, the wheelchair, so I had to, I remember I went to school for a while, and then I had to go through, I think, like, three different casts. Like the, so you couldn't bend your knee? No. So it was like that. I have a picture of it somewhere, but... Um, That's so wild. So I was like, if it was that, below your knee, I would just think they would give you your joint. Like, that would be... Yeah, I don't know. They said it was like, yeah, growth plane in the ankle, and then something with the, the spiral. And then, um, yeah, I had that. I had to go through three different things, I remember. And then I had to go through the one where it was only here. And then they, I swear... I, I had like a crooked like I swear they put that shit on crooked because mm. like oh yeah a, ever since I my right leg has kind of always been like like duck foot yeah like this yeah little and, and like I started running um, cross country and when when I I would run my leg would kind of flare out yeah and I had to wear these like bigger shoes until I could get and it like kind of fucked me up like. So even I'm always you get still it straight like, now, or is yeah, it still a bit crooked? It's still a little, but it still like, wants to go that way. I, little, I feel that weird. way in in the leg that and I, I broke. I swear I blame that guy for putting that shit on. Like he he like maybe when he put it on, it was like that a little bit or something, or unless maybe it's just normal when you break something. But yeah, it was never really the same. It was always like a little fuck, little fucked up. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's probably the worst. I mean, I'm like I said, pretty fortunate. Do you feel like it's hindered you at all? De- I mean, yeah, definitely in sports. For sure, and yeah. running, yeah, definitely, definitely fucked me up. Still, like if you were um, to well, run, you'd if it feel wasn't that. like, if it wasn't like flaring out, I, de- I feel like I would definitely get less injuries, and I would be, would have been faster. Mm-hmm. I think, but it's whatever. I mean, brought you here. Yeah, everything works out. I'm good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm <laughs> That's happy. A good where I'm at. See, everything works out. I'm good. Yeah. Um, when do we get to say that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a clip recently where people thought you. Yeah, that's this guy, man. He's, he's fucking. What he's happened? fucking with everyone's brains. <laughs> he, uh, what, what's the clip? Well, we put like a GoPro in this RV, and then um, we we, we uh, jumped uh, like a Mustang through the RV. My friend was driving the Mustang, and then like I had went on and turned it on, and I was just like fucking around. I was like, take one, uh, Mustang versus RV, you know. And then I I get out. Oh. I get out though. But then when the when the Mustang does it, he like kind of merged the two clips. Got it. To make it seem like I'm in there. So it looks like oh, I get hit. That, was yeah. sick. that wasn't cool. Oh, I thought it was sick. Sorry. Yeah. But then they're saying like I'm hospitalized and shit. So people just like make up shit. Nice. That does look really violent. Yeah. Nice yeah. editing. He, so yeah, yeah good editing that, for yeah, sure. He's a good editor, man. Yeah. That did, that did <laughs> you got well. a good team. Yeah. But you can tell if you pause it, like, right, I'm not even there, you know? But he needed well, I assume he needed people to add debunked one more it. frame. <laughs> I assume people debunked it immediately. Yeah, but it kept going. Like kept, it, 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 I was it trending going, and stuff. Yeah. So like people just kept running with it, so they can get their clicks. So you were not hospitalized, dude. I didn't. Even, I wasn't even in. You there. weren't even in it, right? Yeah, no, okay. nothing. I didn't even do the jump. That's what I mean. Like my friend jumped the car. So I was, I was, just, I was just hanging on to it. Well, that was like that's an example though of something like I was gonna stand on the RV, and when the Mustang comes, I was gonna jump off yeah. over the car. But I was like, eh, fuck it. I didn't yeah, do that's a little risky. It, yeah, that's what I mean. Like sometimes yeah, I asked Steve about that one. No, he did that? Well, no, he stood Skateboard. on a porta potty and he tried to do a boneless off the porta potty as a car drove through it. And, and it, he jumped too late? He shattered both his ankles. Oh, he jumped too late? I think he did jump the too board, late. All, the I, board, he, he let go of the board and it went sideways. Yeah, he really wasn't. So he pre it. That I don't sucks. think he was in a, a state of skating then either. Yep. Right, he wasn't yeah, the like board skate was not ready. To be his friend. So he was jumping off of something really high yeah. and and requiring a lot of his legs and his feet. Yeah. He's older and skate his, as much. His, yeah, his board kind of started to primo and his ankle just broke. And unfortunately, I was the one who shot it. Damn. Look at well, you. he had a crew shooting it, but I had the iPhone clip, and they wanted that right away. So yay, I guess. Video yeah. creds. It was an exciting video. <clears throat> it was. 
It was Steve-O could It was it. rough though. I had I had all my kids yeah, there nuts. because he did it just in this random parking lot, kind of near our, our place. Mm-hmm. And so I told my kids, "Hey, Steve-O's gonna do this, this stunt. You guys want to come?" <laughs> like, yeah. And then they're all hanging out, and then he breaks himself off, and my kids are like, "Are we? Is it over?" <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's go home. He's That's going to the wild. hospital. How many people are in your crew? I don't know. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe like five. Oh, really? Seems like a lot of people. Maybe six. That's my friend. Oh, he loves hot dads. Yep. He wears he wears that all the time as a troll. He's funny. Man, I need that t shirt too. Yeah, we'll get you it. What the hell? Get him two stuff. You need on. the trifecta. I love hot see, dads. Like, I have hot moms. Yeah, yeah. rocks. Yeah. So like YouTube, for example, said they were going to, de- what, they say they'd delete the video because of this? Yeah, they said they'll delete the video because, because of this. Because of the stunt or because like of the, the fake? Like it can be deleted getting... because of the going through. Wait, you can't smash cars into Dude, cars? you can't do anything. Man. What is the world coming it's more to? Like, it's more like, don't try this at home. Well, do you have two cars at home that you can do this with? Yeah. Man. That was pretty solid, to... though. That was like, that, was that rock looked well solid. planned. Yeah. He, almost, he almost went through the roof. <laughs> he did a little. Yeah. Pretty funny. Those Mustangs are, they're durable cars. Yeah, it looks like it. How long did that Mustang last I think after we drove that? it after, right? Yeah, I think it was fine. Diesel. Even the RV, we're gonna, we haven't even, we've been, Wait, I need to start the RV. The RV. I'm right? going to, I'm waiting. Right. I got to get that bitch started. I want to drive it around with a hole in it. <laughs> I think that would be funny. That would be cool. One this, time I rolled a Range Rover, my father rolled a Range Rover, we're all in it, and uh, it landed back on its wheels. But uh, all the wi- all the windshields were all smashed out, and we drove. It was really it got worse. But then the next day we had to go home, and it was a f- like a three hour drive, and we had to go on the freeway with no windshield. Yeah, it makes a crazy yeah, we, we difference. I had no idea how uh, important a windshield. <laughs> I know. Mean. We did it from San Diego, we were like right? dressed. I was wrapped up in blankets, like I had just yeah. like a little face part looking out the. <laughs> It was hot. I think I was wearing a helmet, right? Yeah, I wore a helmet back. Yeah, we both wore helmets. So we drove from San Diego back to LA with my car with no windshield and glasses yeah. like flying and shit. And then, I mean, even my Tesla right now, we don't have any doors on it, but we yeah. have a window, but it's cold as shit in there. Like, yeah, I, I have to, yeah, like, it gets I have cold. to wear like, Wait, you have a Tesla with no doors on it. With no doors right now. You drove now. it here? No, no, because uh, it kind of fucks with my hair, you know? So we had him drive. Yeah, or it might not be legal. It, it, I think it's legal. Jeeps do it. It's a Jeep thing. You wouldn't understand. Yeah. <laughs> No, look at this. So we just bought this well car. Said. Right? We bought this car, and I, I want to do. I'm trying to roll it, like fully roll it. So we were, we've been working on this, but I couldn't get it to flip. But it has three wheels. But it's I could funny. roll that for you. Yeah, yeah, you should come do it. And then this is the best I got. And then the steering wheel like snapped. Oh, so close. Like, <laughs> yeah, that like, was. It was bad. That's anticlimactic. I know it sucked, and then now it's broken. It looks like a bug that just died in front of you. I know. Sad. I was I was disappointed. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the Tesla. You say you don't want to get hurt, but that... I feel pretty safe in that though. To be okay. Honest. Yeah. Well, whatever. and it's been done already, so it's like it's if, been done. If people have already done it, I feel like it. Okay. It's, it's a Got little. It. At least it's already been done. Yeah. I rolled a race car once into a uh, those barriers, the concrete barriers. Oh really? Yeah. Like I was in a race and I had a flat tire and I was just trying to finish the race and somebody hit me around a turn and I hit the barrier. And did like mad flips in the air, like I was like dirt sky, dirt sky, and then and then smashed. It's a pretty cool photo yeah, though. One. It's like flying in the air off a barrier. It's probably one of the best things I ever did in racing. <laughs> That's wild. But I hope I don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, well, before you go, I wanted to ask you uh, about we, you and I were talking about on your podcast about <laughs> when people. Don't recognize me or whatever. They're like, "Hey, you look like Tony Hawk," yeah. and, and then they'll sometimes not follow up with, "Are you?" Right. And then I just let it let it go. Yeah. Um, but usually they'll follow up with, "Are you Tony Hawk?" And then I say yes. If someone asks him, he says no. Sure. I don't. Up. I don't say it in a rude way though. I'm not like rude about it at all. I'm just like, no. no Why do you decide to do that? <laughs> um, Why is that your go-to? I guess in my head. And I could be wrong, you know? But in my head, I was just like, you know, you get it all day long every day. It's just like, you know, it's endless. It's just like an endless cycle every single day. You don't so, think that's being rude to your fans? So this is my this is my thought process. Okay. I just feel like 
if if they were my fans, they would just know it's me. Right. So then, I, okay. So in my head, I'm just like, if, and 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 granted, there's sometimes you know some people are just like socially awkward. They maybe don't know what to say. And yep. if it's people like that, you can kind of tell. And then obviously, I'm just like, uh, and, and I also feel kind of like just like weird being like. Yeah, you know what I mean. It like, is weird, like yeah. I don't want to be like, and then and then you also don't know if sometimes people are gonna like talk shit or whatever. You know, you don't know wow. if like, they're yeah. gonna. You know, you just really don't know their their what they're gonna do. Like I don't yeah. know. There's so many like different things that could be going on. So I'm just like, uh, I'm just like, no, I'm not. I don't like it when they go, you skate right, or you're a comedian right, and if I go, yeah, then that's it. I go, well, was I good? Yeah, right. <laughs> I just feel like it's just like. <laughs> You I go, hey man. It's not enough though, just to be nah, like, really? Nah. Hey man, you're a comedian, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, cool. I'm like, why am I funny? <laughs> like, if, if you know that, you know, or you used to skate, right? I'm like, I feel like you're fishing for compliments then, though. Hell yeah, I am desperate for attention. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I just feel like if it's, it's, I guess people don't really understand too that it's every single day, nonstop, all day long, too. Mm. So I can like, just tell you from experience, but having you, you, been through you that. Definitely know, he, he knows it more than me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like just, just that if, if, if someone does actually know who you are or ask who you are and you just say yes, they're hyped. And it could just Sometimes, end there. Sometimes, man, not, not always, but, though. Okay, but, but also there, there are... There are subtle tactful. I also feel like people... I mean, like... There are know, subtle tactful ways to get away from a conversation, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you that. It is nice to just, like... Not waste more time because you don't get as much, you don't really get okay. that much time. Do do what you like. But just, I know I, it happened. We were just like Tony, Tony. Yeah, it's me. It's me. Yeah, <laughs> we were doing that in Florida. We kept talking about it. <laughs> what would Tony do? It's more like it's more. No, it's just more like, hey, are you Tony? Yes. It happened to me actually. I I met someone for breakfast. It happened to me on my way out. Like, hey, are you Tony? Like, yeah. Cool. That was it. I just feel like it's way easier. That was the interaction. But if like, I had said no, fuck, then, like, sure, and they stop they, wasting our time, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, time, like, I'm not, you, <laughs> hey, can I get a picture of you? Yeah, of course. Let's One time I was at the front on. of a bar and a guy came by, past and he pointed to my shoe because it was worn out from skating. He goes, oh, mate, too many kickflips. And I was like, whatever, rollerblader. And, and he's like, what'd you say? And I was like, I was like, whatever, rollerblader. And he, he goes, man, you wouldn't be saying shit if Jason Ellis and, this, and said another name. He said two skaters' names if they were here. And I was like, they sound like pussies to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do that sometimes. And then, like, it will and then he tried them. to fight me, and I put him in a headlock and got him on the ground. And I was like, it's me, dumbass. That's funny. And then my girlfriend kicked him in the balls, and I got what? mad at her because that was not cool. That took That's so many you turns. Of that. You need that story. Of that. I left her. We usually do that sometimes. If they're like, do you, um, are you a YouTuber or TikTok? We'll yeah. just say like other influencers' names a lot. We'll do that and just mess with people because they, uh, they genuinely don't know who I am. You know what I mean? So uh, it's like understood. In, just, in those cases, I understand. Just see, I guess like, it's more that shit. if someone's excited that it might be you and you say no, if they're excited, that's then the it's, you know what I mean. It's fine. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why. I we should keep. Up. We'll do this next month. We should. T- we should keep. Yeah, about we don't it. need to keep on it. Yeah, we need to go we out in public and, and I'll and I'll explain my <laughs> my specific. I just scenario. want people to walk away from you <laughs> with a happy, happy that they were engaging. I like making everyone happy, especially if you're like a fan and like supporting. I had a genuine encounter. I want to have a good encounter. You know what I mean? But there are days too. All right, here here's the here's the compromise. Yeah, yeah. Next time someone asks. Hey, you Dan Duggan? He said, "Yeah, Tony told me to say yes." <laughs> I'm gonna film yeah. it. We're gonna film it. <laughs> all right, we should, that's, um, that's the comp. Then that all, be we'll a all feel whammy. validated. What? There's also times though. You ever have like just a shitty day and people come up to you? You know, yeah, what I mean? that's like, not how 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 do you always work with professional. that? Professional. I know. I know. You, always, always up. I, I've I'm, never seen him go fuck off. I don't do that either. But like, you know what I mean. But he's always been. I'm just super thankful. Yeah, that yeah. Anyone even I mean, cares. I, I, I have Especially at my age and what I do yeah. for what I'm, I don't know, what I'm putting out there. I'm in the wrong. I man. am super thankful. And you might get to that stage. You might not, but it's okay. We made it this far. Thanks. We're not, oh. I'm not perfect. I'm human. I hope man. you learned something today. <laughs> I hope you guys learned something today. Yeah. Make sure if you see him. Make you know him say his name, but or gonna, don't it's gonna do get it. Worse now. <laughs> or you're gonna, or you're gonna get shut down. <laughs> All right, Danny Duncan. Thanks, thank you dude. for stopping hey, by. Thanks for having me. Uh, like and describe. Yeah, and, describe. and check out his YouTube. His <laughs> like YouTube is huge. <laughs> Yours is huge. So oh, you shit. don't need any more subscribers. No. But go over and check it out anyway. All right, see it.